This video will outline how best to integrate Microsoft Teams into the Brightspace VLE. Specifically, it's going to show you how to put a Microsoft Teams custom link right up here in the nav bar so that when students click on it, it will actually open up Microsoft Teams and load right into your class team, essentially. The workflow video will first show you how to create a team in Microsoft Teams, then how to actually play around with the nav bar and create that custom link. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have downloaded Microsoft Teams as an application. So you could pause the video first to do that. Just go to Google, type in download Microsoft Teams and go from there. In general, it's always a good idea to use the uh, Teams app versus the web version uh, as it's more stable. So once you've done that, you're going to jump over and open your Microsoft Teams, sign in with your Grandiary account, then you're going to want to click on Teams. Now what a team is, is essentially a place that will collect all of your students that you add in. You will have your own wall uh, for chat if you choose to turn that on. And then if you create a meeting, it will actually invite all of those students right away into the meeting instead of putting them in individually one by one, you know, each time you create a new, uh, a new meeting uh, as you would normally in calendar. By having them as a team, it automatically invites them in and uh, permissions are set uh, pretty uniquely as well. So in order to do that, go up to join or create a team and click on create a team. A couple different options here. So if you were looking to do other things like a PLC with uh, your staff, you can do that. Uh, but specifically, if you're doing this for a class, it's a good idea to do this as again, certain permissions are set and there are certain options that you might want to utilize. So click on class, name it. I always would name mine based on the actual class that I'm teaching. Um, and the quad or semester. Description for yourself and for students if you want to give them a little bit more. Press next. And at this point, you're going to be asked to add students in. So this is that one time you only have to do this. Um, and then after that, students will all be in there. So again, every time you start a meeting or anything, they're already on the invite list because they're part of the team. So I'm going to invite Katie into this. Okay, let's assume that she's the only one in the class right now. Okay, and here's Microsoft Teams. Now, this video won't overview all of the different options. What we do wanna to go to though, now that we've created our team, is right up to this option button right here, click it, and that right there is what we're looking for, is to get a team to this link. Copy it, and we're gonna hold on to that for a bit. And what that, again, that link, what it will do is when a student clicks on it, it will load them right into this page right here, where again, they would have a chat wall. You may have a meeting running that they can click on and join. It's that perfect um, uh, through way right into Microsoft Teams. So now that we have our link, what we wanna do is really add a custom icon here up here in the nav bar. So in order to do that, go up to the option button here. When you kind of hover over the nav bar, it will appear. And then when you get away from the nav bar, it disappears. So hover over and right up in the top right corner, you're gonna see again that option bar. Click it and you're gonna to wanna to create, uh, you're gonna to wanna to customize this specific nav bar. Now the problem is this nav bar is one that everyone has access to across Gandiri. And if you it let you edit it, it would be editing for everybody. So what it's asking is, hey, can I create a copy of this nav bar so that you can have your own copy to edit? So you obviously wanna press yes. Now, this is the editing um, area. So uh, just a heads up that you can always move things around uh, as well. So if you really, that Office 365 button that's actually hidden, if you really want students to see it and you wanna pull it up to the top, you can do that and it will move it around in here as well. Just so that you're aware, all of that is customizable. What we're gonna wanna do is add a link because we wanna create a custom link actually. So first, the first thing we're gonna do is click on the add links. Here's the list of uh, all the different nav bar options that you have available to you. But for this specific one, you're gonna create a unique one to your course. So you're gonna click on create custom link. Enter the name of it. I would always name it specifically what it is. And that URL is actually the URL that you just copied from Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to paste that in. If at this point you need to go back and it didn't copy correctly or you uh, it didn't copy, all you need to do is jump back over to Microsoft Teams. Again, click on that option button, click on get link to Teams and copy it from there.
from there. At that point again, go back over to URL and press paste. What that means is when this link, this custom link that you're creating is uh, clicked, it will actually go to this URL. You can choose uh, what's gonna happen. It's gonna actually open the link, um, the application, but I would always generally click on new window slash tab. Okay, you can put a description of it uh, for your own use if you want, though I feel like Microsoft Teams uh, is uh, enough. And finally, icon. So what it's asking for is what picture do you want to show up for the custom link? At this point, what I want you to do is open a new tab or open a new window and go to Google Images. Okay, we're gonna go right into this Google Images and I want you to type in Microsoft Teams. Before you choose an image here, it's always a good idea to go to tools, click on the tools button, click on usage rights, and click on creative commons licenses. What that means is these, all of these images have creative commons. So as an educator, you have free uh, reign to use them within your course. In general, if you're following this video, I highly recommend the first one that's available to you. That's the first link on uh, the Google hits for uh, this image click on it and you'll see that it's actually a transparent image. So it's going to go in really nice as a, uh, as an icon It's quite large too. It will shrink down to the correct size. That'll happen all automatically uh, in Brightspace. So again, I would uh, save that first image. So right click it, press save image as, and save it wherever you like that you know that you'll be able to find it. And finally jump back over to your create a custom link and you are gonna upload that file that you just downloaded. Click Upload. Again, you just need to find it. There it is right there. Double click, and it will upload it. Now you can limit this to specific roles. In this case, because this is a link you want everyone to see, students, teachers, anyone who's in your, your course, you're not gonna click that. Finally, press Create. There is your custom Microsoft Teams link. You're gonna press add. It will then add it to this area. And again, you wanna move it around to where you think uh, you're gonna want, where you think students will see it. So maybe specifically you are someone who uh, is not going to use the uh, discussion tool much in your course. You could exit out. We'll just move that over to where that was. Okay, so that top row is what everyone's going to see generally. And save and close. And at that point, you're pretty much done. As it's then added your Microsoft Teams link, when students click that link then, it will then ask them to allow them, uh, or it will ask them, can I launch uh, the Microsoft Teams? And it will load in right into your class shell. Um, and from there, they'll be able to again, join meetings, uh, post on the discussion board if you have that running, uh, pick out files, all that type of thing. So it's this perfect custom link that uh, helps uh, helps make everything smooth. Thanks for watching.